Hello everybody, I'm Snakesy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief 2 The Metal Age. We just finished the chapter Precious Cargo, where we stowed away on the subway the Cetus Amicus. And... Oh, wrong. Wrong button there. And now we're starting the chapter... I can't remember the name of it. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> I went to Markham's Isle looking for three things. Victoria's agent, the Cetus Project, and Brother Cavador. There wasn't much I could do to help old Lotus, but at least he passed on his information to me. And now I know more about the Cetus Project than I ever wanted to. They've built a ship that can sail underwater. Turns out this ugly iron fish is my link to Cavador. The only way I can reach him is to hitch a ride in its belly. Victoria had better appreciate all the trouble I'm going through. Of course, it's not enough just to find Brother Cavador at this mysterious KD site. I said I'd bring him back. In one piece. Maybe I should find some other way home. I'm cramped enough here without Cavador in tow. Besides, traveling mechanist style just doesn't agree with me. And as long as I'm going to their secret site, I might as well keep my eyes and ears open. Sometimes it's the smallest leak that makes the biggest difference. Kidnap, that's what the chapter is called. Okay, so, you've come a long way to find Brother Cavador. Find and kidnap Brother Cavador and take him with you when you escape. Obviously, Cavador can't answer any questions if he's dead. Don't let anything permanent happen to him. Just what is Karis thinking? Since this is a mechanist installation, there should be some scripture laying around. Find it and read it. And violence is the mark of amateurs and mechanists. You are neither. Don't kill anyone during your explorations. I like that. And mechanists. <laughs> so, I don't get to buy materials because I'm coming here directly off of that submarine. So... So we are in the KD site. I'm back in the lost city. I should have known. Guess I'll take the back door home. Since you've been to the lost city before, you know there's another route out. Use it to leave. But yeah, we're in the lost city now. Yay. At least this time there aren't the fire elementals in here. Because those were a pain in the butt. For he alone can aid you. No other here hath his understanding of the ancient ways. I pray thee. Tell me where I might find the good brother then? At his house? Mayhap, though I think it unlikely. More likely he doth his daily work tours now. What? Must I wonder fallen careth din till I find Brother Cavador then? <laughs> Nay, I think that not necessary. Seekest thou within? There thou shalt surely find a scroll with his intended path writ upon it. He hath the faithfulness of a child of Charis for the following of such schedules. Ah, many thanks. May thy gears run smoothly. And thine. Okay, so I wanted to wait for that conversation to finish because that mechanist that came out and started talking out there then comes back in here, and I didn't want to be out in the open when she came back in this way. But, just so we can see, I've got 39 broadhead arrows, 29 water arrows, 3 fire arrows, 11 moss arrows, 1 gas arrow, 3 rope arrows, and that's it besides my sword and my blackjack. Which should be plenty of supplies in here, and I do pick up some along the way. You've got a note that glitches through the wall here. Attention, those seeking Brother Cavador must not disturb other workers. Tis inefficient and causes the loss of much work. 
Request instead a schedule from the camp steward and check the green lights for they are lit when the brother is present or was recently so. Shouldst thou find that all the lights are lit, then tis too late in the day and brother Cavador hath returned to his rooms. And we've got a mechanist on either side of the stairway out there. So I'm not going to go out there. Instead, I'm going to go in here. There's a gate out there to the main KD site, which is the rest of the Lost City that we've been to in the previous game. And I can't open the gate. I have to open it with a lever in the room across from me, I believe it was. There's a lever in one of these rooms that opens it. It is not this one. This one turns the light on in here, and I don't want that. I want to say the lever... No, the lever wasn't in there. It was back there somewhere. But anyway, there was a broadhead arrow in there. Him 32, as the shaft to the gear. As the shaft to the gear, turn me, Master Builder. As the gear to the cog, show me the way. As the coal to the furnace, I burn for thee. Let the builder return. Builder, see what we have done in thy name. More religious fanatic stuff. <laughs> that seems to be a pretty common theme in these games. Got some loot in there, and yes, we can we have our loot count from the previous mission in this mission again, so that makes it kind of makes it there's a bit more math involved to figure out if you've gotten all of the loot in here or not, or if you've missed any along your path. Once you get to the end, if you've gotten all of the loot, it's gonna be a set number, but as you're coming through, it makes it a bit more difficult to to determine if you've missed something somewhere. So we've got a flare there. And we've got all kinds of other stuff from the previous mission. I'm gonna wait for this robot to come by and I'm gonna deactivate it. Now we don't gotta worry about him. Or it, I should say. Not sure if it was a male or female. It's a robot, so... I don't know if robots can be male or female. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back across to this side now. And we've got a couple of Lost City jars up here. A scouting orb, water arrow in that chest, and in the locked chest we have something, I hope. But just because the chest is locked doesn't mean there's something in it. We saw that in Angel Watch. There was a locked chest that was empty. Okay, a flash mine. That's a new object. We haven't seen those yet. Flash mines are basically a flash bomb put into a mine. You throw the mine out, when they walk over it, it sends out a flash like the flash bombs do. They... I don't think they last as long as the flash bombs do. I don't think they're blinded for as long, or maybe it's just because you're not right there, it takes longer to get to them, but... I prefer to use a flash bomb rather than a flash mine because a flash mine has to be set in a specific location and then you have to run in after it's triggered and get them. Whereas the flash bombs, you can run straight up to them and throw it on the ground right in front of them. But they will come in handy. So we've got a giant door here. For some reason I can reach it from right here, 
but I can't reach it from right in front of it. I don't... I mean, why is that a thing? Why am I able to open and close it from here, but not from here? Oh, well, not a big deal. Just I just think it's kind of weird. But it's not the first time I've encountered something unusual in this game. As we saw with that floating robot in Angel Watch as well. That then got stuck down in the barracks. the other guard is coming this way. The other guard is on her way over here, right there. Or I call them guards, they're not really guards, they're just Hello? mechanists. Reveal thyself. I don't understand why they act like they've uh, spotted me when I'm standing here. Slapping. Nothing more. I don't understand what causes that, but it's some sort of issue with huh? the detection. I'm gonna grab the key off of her and then pick her up and drop her right here with the other one. I don't know why, I just like to throw the bodies into piles when I'm done with them. Okay, we've got a couple of, I'm assuming, boiler rooms as the mechanists seem to like the boilers quite a bit. We've got a water arrow there. I'm gonna head across here. Crouching so as not to make a ton of noise. Because there are still enemies in, in the area, not in this room, but in the general area. So that key I got opens this this door. Now on easier difficulties you'll find the new scripture right here, I believe. So we're gonna grab a mine, a rope arrow, healing potion, flash bomb, a flare, and we've got another locked chest. But on hard, on the easiest difficulty you will find, which is normal, I believe. I can't remember what the difficulties are. I know, I believe it was normal, hard, and expert. So they don't really give you an easy difficulty. But yeah, on the easiest difficulty, this new scripture is right here. But there's two places you can find it on hard and expert farther into the level. So we're going to collect everything from in there. Then we want to come over here, open this furnace, and we've got a fire arrow in there. And the fire arrows will, will be used in this mission. Because there are a lot of watchers in this mi mission that we are unable to shut down. So I destroy them. I'll try to clear out the guards in the area, and then I'll destroy them. Except in one case, I will leave the guard, the guards, and I will deal with them after I've destroyed the Watcher. Because it's <laughs> much easier, because I can hide in the shadows and draw them out with the noise of destroying the Watcher. And then I can pick them off one by one because there's like five guards in the same room. And it's kind of difficult to sneak up on them when that happens. So we don't want to hit that switch. We want to come in here and flip this one and that turns out the lights in here. That one turns on more lights in here and that's just 
not good. So we want to hit the far light switch and turn off the lights that were on in here. And then I will wait here for the robot that patrols through. It's just a small one. Or I guess they're children of Karis, but they're robots. Machines, whatever you want to call them. I actually think people refer to them in the forums and things like that. I believe they're referred to as mech guards. And there's the small mech guard and the large mech guard. But I just call them robots. And here comes the little one right now. There he is. I'll wait for him to come in here. They get quite annoying sometimes. And oh boy, are we in for a treat when we get to the final mission. There are a bunch of robots in there. Because you are basically at the... It's a place called Soul Forge, and it's basically the headquarters of... Well, not really the headquarters. Angel Watch is the headquarters, kind of, of the mechanists. It's a place that Karis goes and hides out when he's going to activate his master plan. Another note that says about those shaking those seeking Brother Cavador must not disturb other workers, blah blah blah, already read that. And I put those fires out because I couldn't remember if there was a guard in here or not. Now, down here is where we've got the lever that opens up the KD site, I believe. In that next room, I think. But we've got the healing potion and papyrus. This is a map of the KD site. We're in the base camp right here. There's a gate right there. We just came in here, came into here. We're going to head out here, and we've got a huge area out here. Now, Site 7 is a bad one. Lots of guards there. And I believe Site 6 is another bad one. I believe it was Site 6 and Site 7 were the really bad ones. Our exit route is through Site 9, which if you remember in the the Lost City when we did that one, in the last game we came in under the docks outside and we swam down and we came into the first little temple type area and there was a bunch of barracks in there, that's what Site 9 is, is that temple area. So if you saw me play The Lost City in the last game, you will most definitely recognize all of these sites. They are all parts of The Lost City. But yeah, here's the KD site switch. So we hit that and that opens the gate to the KD site. I don't know what the KD site is. Here's Brother Cavador's... Um route that he takes. Steward, shouldst thou have need of me, follow this route, and surely thou shalt find me. Disturb me not unless thy matters are of the greatest import. I'm assuming greatest importance. So he goes site six, site one, two, three, four, eight, seven. Ah, knowing where. So he goes site six, Site 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 7, I believe it was. So he goes on a kind of a weird route, but Site 5 is where he's he's made his kind of his own area where he stays, and then Site 9, I guess they don't go there. I believe Site 9 was shut down for some reason. Cavador is. That's half the battle. But now, we're on the other side of these giant doors that I can't open from up close, only far away. 
And I believe I've gotten everything in this area, so we are we are leaving the base camp. We're gonna head over this way. Gonna drop out the window. And we go in on the other side because these windows are much too high to jump up to on this side. And there was the hill to climb up the mound of dirt or rock or whatever to climb up to it in the other side. And yeah, see this door would have been closed when I came here. So restricted area. For access, make requests to the camp steward. Now, there are a lot of mechanists in this level. And I mean a lot. So we're heading into the city, the last city now. Any luck on thy hunting, friend? I'm gonna let these guys finish their conversation. Nay, not a single beast. Good riddance, then. Noxious things. Twill be a better world, more worthy of the master builder's work, when not a single stinking burrick remains to plague it. Certes. Save, I think, that time is now. And yet, still we patrol, lest a Burke's ghost should disturb poor brother Cavador. Why, he still wears his mask, as though he might be attacked at any minute. Nay, speak not harshly of our brother and leader, for does he not speak with Karras' own voice? Bereft of his leadership, we should be rudderless. It is only right and proper that he should guard himself most carefully. May the Master Builder forgive my quick words. Thy words are true. I shall not let these dull caves weaken my faith, nor turn me from my duty. <laughs> okay, now they're walking away, so you heard their conversation. Any luck so on my hunting, will... friend? Nay, not a single... I will knock them off. And Guess things they... have changed a bit. They made a comment about... Um, Brother Cavador wearing his mask, and that is helpful information because that tells me I cannot knock him out with a gas arrow or gas mine because he's wearing a gas mask of some sort to protect against Burricks. And sadly, we don't find Burricks in this level. I don't think there are Burricks in the rest of the game. In the fourth game, there are there are a couple of bricks you can find in an area, but they're not they're dead, they're not alive. And they they were kinda just removed from the games for some reason. They just well, apparently these guys are hunting them all down right now, so that might have something to do with why they're not around anymore. But you may recognize this as the area we came into kind of in the very beginning of the last city in the last game. It was kind of like a central hub for the last city. You could get to everywhere from here. This part was closed off before, and there were the two ledges up there. I don't know if I tried to climb up to them before or not, but... Yeah, there's gonna be parts you're gonna recognize in here if you watch me play the first game. First things first, we got four water arrows up there. Then, I'm going to come down here real quick. There's a last city of Pyrus. I like that archaeologist sounds so much more dignified than thief. <laughs> I like Garrett's attitude. He's just. If someone be there, then bespeak thyself. I just like his attitude, just the way he is. That's one of the reasons I like these games. It's just his attitude. He's just kind of. He's a smartass, kind of. 
that doesn't really describe quite what he is, what his attitude is, but it's the closest I can come up with. And that will be seen a lot more in the fourth game. We get to see more of who Garrett is kind of in the fourth game. Although the fourth game, you're not really playing as the same Garrett. It's It was originally meant to be a sequel, I believe, and then they tried to turn it into a reboot, and it, it just... A lot of people weren't happy with it. But anyway, there was a scouting orb and another flash mine here. But yeah, a lot of people weren't happy with the fourth game. I honestly love it. It's incredible. But a lot of the longtime fans of the series who played all of the other games were not impressed with the fourth one. And honestly, I think that's kind of stupid because <laughs> it's it's not meant to be the other games. It's meant to be a new game. But people were comparing it to these, this one and the first one. And Anyway, the reason I'm showing this little space off right there, do not go in there. If you fall down in there, you can't get back out. <laughs> so we've got a watcher there. I'm kind of rambling a bit today. But I do that sometimes. Now... come up here. And that's the green lights that were mentioned that will be lit if Cavador was recently in the area or if he is in the area. Hopefully things will go the way they normally do in this mission and I will intercept Cavador as he's coming through into this area and then I won't have to watch for that. And I put the that? moss arrows because this gravel type stuff makes a lot of noise. This stuff makes a lot of noise. And it's very easy to be detected here and she'll turn around and attack you and yeah, it's just not good. But we cannot use this lever or whatever you want to call it, this machine here. There's a couple of them we can't use, and usually if we can't use them, they don't light up. This one doesn't light up, but there's one later on that lights up like you can use it, but you can't use it. So now... For Karis' sake, is there someone there? The wind plays tricks on me today. Come on. Now, one of the good things about the Watchers is if they see an unconscious body, it doesn't set them off. Or at least it it's not supposed to. <laughs> never know. Sometimes things don't go the way they're supposed to. But typically they won't... it won't go off if it sees an unconscious body. So I'm gonna knock this guy out and have a bunch of trouble trying to get through what here. So I'm gonna drop him so I can get back out. Because he kind of got stuck there. Until I find the salamander. Now, sounds like this guy might be coming to find me. Oh crap. Dang it. That's the bad thing about being in an enclosed area like that. You can't. my hands with fingers, and they hold my fingers into lock like cogs on a gear. You can't really 
do what you need to do. I wonder. Can I pick him up by targeting his mace? Yep, I can. <laughs> okay. Now, rather than do that again, Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm out of time. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.